Lecture 4, Wednesday the 10th of September, 2014. This lecture focused on belonging, the types of partnerships and the barriers that can prevent quality, as presented in a conversation by Heidi and Hans. Hello, Heidi. Guten Morgen, Hans. How is baby Kiko going at daycare? Ah, oh, you know... She's only one, but already I can see she has certain friends in the room of 30 children. She always seems to play near Ben and Jerry. Yes, by two years old, my son Fletcher not only had preferred friends, but he often went to certain people for certain things. During play, he always followed Kia Jong around, but at mealtimes, he would sit beside the quiet girl who helped spoon feed him. In a group of just eight children, he had everybody mapped out. Kiko doesn't really play with her friends. Mostly she plays by herself or watches others. I'm a bit worried about her. Oh no, don't panic. Mildred Parton's stages of play would see that as normal at her age. As she gets older, she'll start to play alongside others, then even interact as she plays with others. Now that Fletcher's nearly six, he's starting to discuss strategies, goals and rules in play. Cooperative play, it's called. So it's normal. I worry that the large number of culturally and demographically diverse children in the daycare environment is too impersonal. Sometimes uh, the children seem a bit like cattle herded around and fragmented. Maybe it's made her too selfish for quality play with Ben and Jerry or other friends. That's a common criticism of Jeselschaft communities. It led us to choose a Germanschaft daycare when Fletcher was little. We thought that the close-knit support structure of a small group of children from the local area would mean stronger relationships, clearer shared values, and a sense of belonging and known identity. Mm, what we found was that there was little room or even encouragement for individuality and diversity. We were surprised when we realised that Fletcher's love of music had made him an outsider in the sport-driven community. He and Kia Jong were never invited to the other children's birthday parties, and our requests for changes to the program were always outvoted by the other parents. I suppose that would be worse. Kiko doesn't like outdoor play, and she cries if she gets wet by food or paint or puddles. At least with 30 children and 8 educators, there's always opportunities for her to do what makes her happy. I just wish I knew something more than names of the people who raise her. Is it that disconnected? Well... I suppose I've met a lot of other parents through the social events. I got my job through Kaylee's mum and our pool was installed by Jeffrey. Mike's auntie is helping us to apply for permanent residency. Oh, and I go for coffee with a bunch of the mums every Friday. I definitely feel like we belong to the community and we can get what we want from the service. You know, support to raise Kiko as the individual superstar that we know she's going to be. I suppose neither Jemenschaft nor Jezelschaft are always implemented perfectly. I always thought Fletcher's sister Kira would go to the same daycare when she was 24 weeks old next month. Uh, I have a bit to think about now. I just want her to grow up, you know, secure, attached and proud of who she is as an individual and part of our culture.